It's a lovely day today, the perfect kind of day in fact, for playing trains in the garden. Of course, I've been doing more than just playing trains in the garden. I've actually been laying track in Rockery Corner. Ordinarily, track of this gauge is fixed down using pins, but pins don't go into bricks very well. Originally, I had intended to fix the track in place using nothing but mortar, but I've realised there's a problem with that. When you lay track, it sometimes needs tweaking, but if you set it in mortar, you can't really move it without breaking it. That's not terribly conducive towards tweaking. So I decided to use little blobs of epoxy resin glue to fix the track down. It's quite easy, it's quite quick, and if it all goes wrong, it can be undone with a pair of side cutters afterwards. After putting some track down using this method, I discovered there was a section of track where my clearance car would always derail. I took a closer look and realised that I hadn't compensated for the unevenness between the bricks the track is laid on. This meant that there was a dip right before a curve and that was what was derailing the inspection car. Now I don't have an awful lot of stock yet but I decided that it'd be worth testing the track with what I do have. So I ran a class 09 diesel over it. It didn't derail. I ran a Lionel Trains chassis over it. It didn't derail. I ran an 040 Lima chassis over it. That didn't derail either. Neither did my 040 tank, but one of the trucks did. Even when the truck in question didn't derail, it would pass through that section with only three wheels in contact with the rails. Not wishing to run stunt trains, I decided this problem had to be tweaked out. So I tweaked it out. Sadly, the tweaking process did result in a couple of broken sleepers, but I'm convinced what sleepers are left will be enough for the track to hold its form, and I'm still going to use mortar as a cosmetic ballast layer, so you won't be able to see it anyway. You may have noticed the bridge is coming on nicely. I've got it all painted up now, and it's just waiting for some timber parts. I've really enjoyed testing it out today as well. What are you doing here, Thomas? You're the wrong scale. Oh, that was pathetic.